And there's a wonderful icon that shows Jesus literally dragging Adam and Eve out of hell by their wrists. In healing the leper, the divine boundary crosser has leapt over the chasm between clean and unclean. He does it again in greeting the Samaritan. And he continues to invite us to join him, crossing boundaries and healing division. That's what St. Martin's is most fundamentally about. You've become a place where national and ethnic boundaries no longer divide people. You've become a place of radical <laughs> thanksgiving, a community that includes those who are often excluded, the old and forgotten, the abused and ashamed, and all of God's people who have been separated in some way or other from the banquet that God intends for us all. The words of Jeremiah ring true here. You may not be in Eden again, or in the home you knew in Jerusalem, or wherever you came from, but build homes anyway. Plant gardens and harvest them. Raise children and seek the welfare of this city where you are. For in this city's welfare, you will find your own. That's the story of the migrant. This city wouldn't exist without the willingness of people moving from one place to another and building a home in a strange land. This city will continue to thrive as long as current residents and newcomers continue to cooperate in building a healed society, a better community for all people. We do that most essentially by working together, by planting gardens, educating children, healing the suffering around us, and dreaming dreams of welcome and peace. <laughs>